Mary Dudu is a single mother of five. Mary sells vegetables in a market in the capital Juba. She says the money she makes from her business cannot fully support her family. I am a single mother. My husband died in the war. I am taking care of my children alone. It's extremely difficult. Everything is very expensive and there is no money. And Mary is not alone. Many Juba residents have similar stories. The government should ensure that there is peace in the country so that we can go to our farms and grow crops. That way we can supply the market with food and we won't have prices going up. The hardships that we're feeling because of the increase in the price of food is almost unbearable. I don't know if the government knows about this problem. If it knows about this issue, then it should prioritize addressing it. It's now too much. The economy is ailing as a result of years of civil war, limited production and the negative effects of COVID-19. And for some, the situation is desperate. Civil servants have gone for months without salaries, yet prices of basic goods continue to rise. Aid agencies warn that more than 60% of South Sudanese people will face acute food shortage this year. The situation has been made worse by three consecutive years of flooding, which halted food production across the country. South Sudan's government says it is working to address the problem. We are going to encourage this year commercial banks to lend to the private sector at the rate of 40% of their deposits. We did that because in previous years we were targeting 20%, which is very low. And to revive the economy, we have to increase lending to the private sector. For many South Sudanese people like Mary Dudu, their highest priority is to see prices come down, but that might take some time as the country's economy recovers. Patrick Koyet, CGTN. Juba, South Sudan.